الحمد لله وصلاة وسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله One of the things I've observed <clears throat> from some of our brothers and sisters who've lived in Saudi and, and other Muslim countries, especially Muslim countries where you may have some access to the Arabic language or uh, at least in scholars. And one of the things that I noticed is there are many people who don't take advantage of their time that they have in the places of ilm. And what I mean by that, for example, here in Saudi Arabia, the land of Tawheed, in this land of Tawheed, where they make ta'zim of the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah and many, many scholars of Ahl Sunnah, I know many brothers that I've met over my time here some brothers who've lived here 20 years who don't know the Arabic language. And that means they probably never sat with a scholar, and if they had, it had to be translated, who still can't understand the khutbah after 10, 15, 20 years, and some even more. And so this is not something which is really befitting for the believer, that the believer should take advantage of their time. Everyone doesn't have to be a talib al-ilm, but there are some minimal things. If you have that opportunity, and it's in front of you, then you should benefit. So many people come to Saudi Arabia for various reasons. Some people for the money, some people for the knowledge, some people for the money and the knowledge, some people for just the Islamic environment in general, and some people for all three. However, what I will say is everyone should gain a little something, especially if they've been here for some years, that, and this goes to sisters too, how many brothers that go and do Talib al-Ilm their wives don't benefit either from them or they don't benefit by doing some outside programs. Some of the places that are full of excellent benefit. I think in Riyadh as well, but definitely in Jeddah there's some opportunities for women and in, uh, of course, Medina. And I'm sure in Mecca that Medina is well known, very excellent programs for women to study their Islam to improve, to learn the Arabic language, to many of the brothers had their wives studying in institutes that were free, uh, often were free, you know, doing some talib al-ilm. So this helps to raise the bar of your household. So it's very important not to just spend time in Saudi Arabia doing the things you could just do in the West, just watching movies and going to the cinema outside the country or doing this and doing that, but rather make use some of, uh, of some of your time to come closer to Allah Azza wa Jal, Mecca and Medina, but also do some Talib al-Ilm. Do not sit and do no Talib al-Ilm because Talib al-Ilm brings you closer to Allah and it helps you to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ala basira. The Prophet said, May Allah be khayr in your deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. So we all need fiqh fi deen. We all need fiqh, at least in the basic things of tahara, fiqh tahara, fiqh salat, fiqh if you have some wealth, fiqh zakat, fiqh asom, we all need to fast Ramadan, fiqh of hajj if you're able to make the hajj, and fiqh umrah, and, and, and other acts of ibadah. And to know what ibadah is, and to know what tawheed is, many of the people just have general meanings about many of these things in the religion. And the only way to increase that is through ilm, and through seeking some knowledge. So at least benefit from your time. If nothing else, read, take a book in your household, and read a hadith every day. For those who are married, and for those who, you know, keep, keep your house alive with some sort of khair, and some sort of ilm. And... This is general advice for our brothers and sisters who've lived in Saudi for any length of time. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us all with al-nafi, rustin tayyibu, amin, al-mutakabili, wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiya, Muhammad.